everyone, it's Carol here at Oak House Journals. Thanks for joining me. And Junk Journal January again today. This is the Junk Journal January 2024 series which is being hosted by Meg. And today's prompt, which is number 25, is ombre. So here I'm just opening up my deconstructed journal. And this is the final signature that I'm working on now. And as you can see, that left-hand page is dedicated to today's prompt. So just very quickly putting the rest of my journal away. Um, I decide I'm going to work on a separate piece of paper for um, my prompt today and then adhere it to the left hand page. So here I've just got a piece of very lightweight cardstock and I've lifted out um, old paper, weathered wood and stormy sky distress inks and distress oxide faded jeans and I'm going to try and create my ombre effect. Um, I went in first with old paper. Now the lightweight cardstock that I'm working on here is actually um, slightly uh, a creamy colour so I didn't have to do much at all with the old paper. Here I'm going in with Stormy Sky and I'm just working backwards and forwards across my page and just trying to build up the colour. So using the usual technique for blending um, distress inks, going in with one colour, then the next, and then going back to the first and backwards and forwards until you get the result that you want. Having got my stormy sky in place, I'm now going in with distress oxide faded jeans to try and build up some colour. And when I'm happy with the colour that I've, I've got, then I go back in with a stormy sky and blend over the top of that. And finally, I go in with Weathered Wood. And I'm hoping that these three shades of Distress Ink will give me my ombre effect. And I'm just going over the top with old paper. And this is what it looks like at the end of the day. Now, I have a bit of a splodge there on the left towards the bottom, but I'm not bothered about that at all. Here, I've just created a bit of a stencil by doing a rough outline of some leaves and um, I've just cut them away with my X-Acto knife. Now the stencil that I created or made for myself is just out of paper and it doesn't go to right to the edge of my page so I'm adding a few strips of um, scrap card and I'm just attaching those so that the edge where I've done my inking on the paper underneath will be protected protected. So here I go in with a strip down the left hand side having done one on the right hand side. A couple of little touches of washi tape just to hold it in place. So there's one. Here's the second one when I can decide where to put it. And I go in and put another piece at the top and another piece at the bottom. So I'm hoping here that the um, only openings are where the leaves and stems are. So I've got a damp um, baby wipe or a wet wipe and I'm just touching over the paper stencil that I've created where there is an opening which is where the leaves and stems are and that should wick away the ink that I have blended underneath and leave an almost ghosting effect. So the wet wipe is hardly damp at all. Just going in, dabbing away. Now I only want the hint of an effect here. So here I am just taking away my homemade stencil. And as you can see, I haven't got uh, a perfect print by any means, but I do have a gap on that left-hand side or that left branch um, where I didn't manage to um, bleed away the ink for the stem. So I've just put a couple of those scraps in place and try to create a stem and that worked perfectly so I decided to go in and where some of the leaves haven't given me a perfect point at the top to use um, again the stencil or a scrap of the stencil torn away just to um, go in again with the wet wipe and get that uh, effect that I'm looking for. So here I'm going in with just plain water from my spray bottle and I'm splattering it all over my um, 
my background you can see that I've put one of the um, positives of that stencil that I created up in that top right hand corner um, I didn't really get the effect that I wanted up there but I wasn't bothered at all here I'm just dabbing away some of the water now I'm going in with, now I think this is Stormy Sky, it's either Stormy Sky or Weathered Wood, it's one of the Distress Inks, just smooched it on my, smushed it onto <laughs> my uh, glass mat, mixed it with a little bit of water and I'm going in with my fan brush just to add some splatters. Love using this fan brush. I'm lucky enough to have one of the Ranger splatter brushes but I have to say I don't get on with that particularly well and I feel that I have more control when I'm using the fan brush so um, yeah I'm going to carry on using it so if you haven't got one might be something to try if you don't get on with the Ranger one. So here I've just mixed up a little bit of white acrylic paint with some water in a pot and I'm putting splatters on my page as well with that. So I've got my page, my background finished off and dried and I was working on a piece of lightweight cardstock as I've said that was slightly larger than my page. So I'm going in here and just trimming it down so that it is the same size as my journal page. There we go, just trimming it to size, just checking that it's, it's right and here I'm going in with my sewing machine to put a couple of lines of messy machine stitching in an off-white uh, coloured thread which uh, I've done more or less throughout the journal if I've not gone in and, and stitched with black machine thread. As always just burnishing down my stitches I do it on the back and uh, on the front as well and here I'm just going in with I think it's weathered wood or stormy sky it's one of the two um, inking around the edges and here I'm gluing it onto my journal page and just using the bone folder to burnish it in place. So there we go everybody, that's my finished page for today's prompt ombre. A very, very simple um, uh, page to hit today's prompt. But it was a technique that is simple, but I've not done it for a long time. So it was fun to uh, try it again. And I'll leave you with a few close-up photos so that you can see the ghosting effect and the splatters. And um, if you've not tried this technique, maybe it'll entice you or inspire you to give it a try. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Please take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye now.